Greetings, YouTubers. Today we're working on the wife's Equinox. The, uh, the latch doesn't work. So the only way we can get in there is from inside the back door. So today we're gonna replace the latch mechanism and uh, make her good as new. Yay. All right, so what you gotta do is you gotta come in the back here, come in through the back door. There's a little clip, a little button, pull that off. Uh, take your finger, stick kind of this angle, reach around, you get a little knob there, push down on that, and it loosens it, go ahead and pull, there, and you're free and clear. Alright, so your, your next step is underneath here, there's two Torx bits, I think they're T30. Unscrew those, take them all the way out, and then we got some push pins to pop out after that. All right, so once you got the two torques screws out, just grab on this handle and pull gently, and this just falls right out. Set that aside and uh, kind of check it. These are your your push pins. The one I got at the junkyard, I grabbed the ones out of here. Cause like this one here is junk. That one's no good anymore. And if you're missing a couple, you can put put these other ones in there so you have all of them when you go to put it back together. So once you got that out, then you're gonna come up in here. And here is your latch mechanism. And the latch handle comes in here. And <laughs> this looks a lot different than the one I took out. They got bailing wire put on this one. Surprise, surprise. All right, anyways, that nut, and there's another one hidden in there. I don't know if you can get that out uh, on that side. Those are 10 millimeter, so those two gotta come out. And then that push pin right there, and there's one on the other side. Squeeze them gently with a uh, pair of pliers, and they'll push out. So let's, uh, let's get to unloosening everything. <laughs> they've, they've got a wire sticking through. That apparently snapped off that you can reach from the outside. So when you wanted this open, you just, oh my God, are you kidding me? I get it on my Jetta. My Jetta came with that to open the open the hood, but this is a 2008. Come on, people! Uh, looking at this, this is also different. This is a totally different setup than that guy right there. This one, I, I don't know. It looks like this one is a maybe a, a pulse pad where you just kind of push on it. it. It's it feels like it's. Got sensors in there or something. This other one I got was just a mechanical latch, which I favor much better. And the connecting rod, which this definitely doesn't have. So I'm thinking, yeah, that's probably what that is. It's, this one's all electronic, which I don't want. I'm gonna see if I can clip those wires on this connector and uh, mount it to the other one. So when you hit the unlock switch, it'll unlock it just the same. Oh, I really don't like that more expensive setup. I'm just, I like it simple. Mechanical latch, it works, you ain't got to screw with it. So it looks like I got to take another trip back to the junkyard. Well, it's going to have to be tomorrow. All right, signing off, signing off for now. All right, so to get to the latch, you have to take this uh, sputtered chrome plastic trim piece off. And I think there's four bolts on the inside. There's one. There's two. And I imagine the other two are probably in behind here somewhere. All right, so upon further investigation, there's the bolt back there. And then there's a clip right there. Right there. And then there is a 
Phillips screw right there. And then the other plastic push pin and then a screw. So there's five total on this side. Um, what I did was I took my long nose, needle nose pliers and pushed on those pins and uh, finished taking that screw out and then that back trim piece should come off. So let me get that out. So yeah, undo that last screw and boom, she just falls right out. So we'll set that over here inside, keep it nice. Bring this down, take a look. Yeah, this one is a sensor pad. Yeah, crap. I really would rather have that mechanical one in there because, I'll show you here real quick. You can see the, the plug-in right there. That's the plug-in for the finger sensor. And that's one more electronic thing to go bad. So that, you hit the button, it senses it, sends signal down to this, that unlocks that, and then you pull that out. Well, poo-poo on that. Electronics are not always better. All right, so I'll try it anyways. That plastic clip right there, squeeze gently on that with pliers and push down. And then undo that 10 millimeter nut. And it's the same thing on the other side. So there's two there, then two here. There's your plastic clip. And your bolt is back in there behind all that fun stuff. So take them four out, and that will make your top latch mechanism come out. So this is off the one in the junkyard. So yeah. Clip, bolt, bolt, clip. So let me take them out real quick. Okay, got them out. This bolt and nut right there is a major pain in the butt. Finally got that out. All right, so you take these, just twist out. Now's a good time to check your bulbs, see if they're good or bad. If they're bad, go ahead and change them. All right, so like I said, that's that's a sensor pad right there. I'm not a big fan of that. So I'm gonna see if I can replace this with a mechanical one. The only th thing I may have an issue with, like I said, is, is uh, hooking the wires up to that one. So if it doesn't, then I'll have to go back to the junkyard and get another one. The only, the only issue I may have is uh, not being able to lock the, the back hatch when the, when the vehicle is locked. So if the wires don't make this locking mechanism latch, when you hit the door lock, then I'll have to find a working electronic version of it. So uh, this one here, the latch part, two 10 meter, millimeter bolts there, two 10 mil right there and there, and then that whole thing comes out. So let me get them off. All right, guys, so here is the uh, the update. Last night, I was out here quite a while trying to get this figured out. I tried multiple combinations of these four wires. And the best I can come up with is, yes, I got the latch installed, and yes, it works fine. But the problem is, this little button here, if you want the, the latch, the back door to stay locked, you flip it over here. If you want it unlocked, you press it over to that side and it'll stay unlocked but I cannot figure out the wiring to make it work so when you hit the door lock in the front door it locks and unlocks this hatch as well so something has got to be uh, added in with this the switch here the wiring for uh, the, the handle where you press press the buttons back and forth um, this has to be part of the equation. When I put this jumper wire in, where'd you go? Basically, I put a wire in to cross both those. 
and with the wiring this way down at the latch I put a jumper in there and it makes it unlocked it keeps it over here and it stays there if I switch these wires and these wires and then put the jumper in it'll make it lock and make it stay locked so somehow this has got to be incorporated into the equation and I'm not quite sure how to do that so if you guys have any ideas uh, leave them down in the comments but for now I think we're kind of done with this project um, yes you can put in uh, a manual door latch and it works just fine but if you want to unlock and lock it you're gonna to have to crawl in through the back seat and leave this back cover off and flip that over whenever you want to lock it or unlock it so yeah it works yeah it's not the greatest setup if you want if you want to work like normal so what I did was I went to the junkyard and I got another another latch system and another finger pad for where you lift it out and uh, I'm gonna put those back in and see if I can figure out which one was the culprit so there's your tutorial that's how you can convert it um, but that's as far as I could get with it uh, I got a fair amount of electrical knowledge on cars but this one was just a little bit a little bit past my threshold of knowledge all right so in about six minutes I put the new one in uh, which is the original style that came with this this type of vehicle and I put in a new touch pad uh, it's got buttons on this side and this side so let's go ahead and shut it Oh, that sounds like an unlatch. <laughs> I gotta hold it. Here, hold that. Thank you. All right, so hold that and then pull, okay? Shut it. Listen for it. Yeah. But it does have a little, so you gotta hold it and then pull it. All right, let's try the other side. All right, I guess it works on both sides. Cool. Well, let me lock the door real quick. Doors are locked. Nothing. Nothing on either side. Let me unlock. I didn't hear no click. Well, it's because I haven't hit this yet. Yeah, look at that. So, I'm thinking it was the sensor pad. Thank you. So I put the, uh, the old striker back in too. So this one we'll just kind of, I don't know, we'll keep it for parts maybe. Now I bought an extra one just in case. Uh, or no, that's the other one. Uh, that's the original one. The other one's in the truck. So I bought two of those. Yeah, duh, right here. So this is a spare. That way if it goes bad, I don't have to make another trip to the junkyard. So it is fixed. She works. So I time to button all the trim pieces up make everything look pretty and the wife is happy and we can go down the road we can lock the latch when we want or we can leave it unlocked so thanks for watching gang thanks for watching this is the update and uh i don't know what 17 bucks 17 bucks at the junkyard and we're back in business so you can do it either way this proved out to be a little easier because they're uh, the same price either way so you can do it manually or you can do it electronically. Thanks for watching. Take care.